Okay, this is a Mark Gr Greeny, Commander in Chief. Okay, Secretary so Defense was ready for the question. We'll have to go through NATO to move any of our NATO forces, of course. There is the NATO response force bases six Central European nations, Lithuania included, of course. We're talking 6,000 troops in total, not more than 400 in Vilnius. There is a bigger contingent in eastern Poland, but still, not anything close to being enough to thwart Russian invasion. We need a major mobilization. How fast can the NRF deploy in an emergency? The NRF can deploy within a week. Of course, NATO now has another unit that can deploy even faster within 48 hours. That's a very high readiness joint task force. They are good troops, even though they are enough for them to stop the Russians. Mary Pat said, let us not get ahead of ourselves. Russia isn't coming over the border to the next week in any numbers, Mr. President. They don't have forces in pre deployment position. Ryan was not terribly comforted, but these, uh, um, they don't have, by these timelines, they don't take the account of decision-making time Europeans. None of our partners has the political will to snap their fingers and send troops off to meet the Russians. That need a lot of hand-holding. We've got to NATO summit. Coming up soon in Copenhagen, why don't we use this as an opportunity to appeal the other heads of state to develop some ways of streamlining to process our moving forces into defensive position. With the LGN NG facility explosion, now it's the attack of Vilnius, hopefully now for the member states will recognize how quickly we can develop into war.